Start to paint your pots and saucers with a matte finish paint or chalk paint. Take a paper napkin and separate the two ply layers. Draw a circle and cut it out with scissors. Take the saucer and brush the decoupage glue so the bottom and sides of the saucer are covered. Place the paper napkin circle and press down in the center and smooth the napkin out. Dip a small paintbrush in water and brush along the top of the saucer. Add a final layer of decoupage glue. Take a strong adhesive glue and place a ring of glue. Place the saucer on top of the bottom of the pot. You now have a beautiful clay pot candle holder. First, we're gonna spray paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum Satin Heirloom White and Rust-Oleum Stone. We're gonna take some painter's tape. You kind of wanna rough tear one edge of it. We're gonna put this along the bottom. I'm using a craft paint and I'm just using brushed gold. You kinda wanna make it look like the, the paint is kind of tearing and you can see underneath it. All right, so here's the finished product and I absolutely love how they turned out. Have a cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree, this epoxy pen holder on Amazon. And I'm gonna basically just trace. All right, so now that I have hollowed out the center, I wanna make sure that the paint doesn't necessarily sink in to the foam. So to create a barrier and something that'll dry relatively quickly, Mod Podge or like Elmer's glue, we're going to use a uh, Dixie Belle paint. These two foam boosters really have transformed into chic and modern decor. The first step is just to make sure this is really clean. To start with, I wanna use some gold leaf adhesive. I am just gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna get out the gold leaf sheets. Now you wanna use a tweezer and a dry paintbrush with this. As I'm going along, I'm gonna use the paintbrush and it's gonna pull away any of the excess. And then we're ready to move on to the next step. Now we're gonna add some paint, but we're gonna paint the inside of this vase. And it has the look of a white ceramic vase with a beautiful antiqued kind of rustic gold finish at the top. I sourced a couple things from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna be using the Rust-Oleum Milk Paint. We are going to add our hot glue, put it into the corner. So we're gonna do this in all four corners. So once that kind of sets, we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. We are gonna be taking our smaller pieces and we're gonna be creating an X shape. And then I'm gonna come in with my hot glue gun. We are going to glue these together, painting it the same color as we did the other pieces. We are going to hot glue. All right, so we're gonna let this dry here for a moment. Um, and that's where this comes into place. Just need this piece. We're gonna clip off this piece. We're gonna paint it. Right, so now that this is all glued and dried, I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna put it in the hole now that we've attached the tumbling tower pieces so I can go over the edges. And here's the finished product of my chic distressed farmhouse lantern. I really love how it came together. I took this fleecy fabric softener plastic container and then using an X-Acto knife, I just cut off the top portion. Next, I'm going to take some craft paper. I'm scrunching it up to create like a really rough texture. And then I'm gonna tape it on where I need tape to hold in place and just cut out my handle. And then wrapping that again in masking tape. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna create my paper mache and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip the envelopes up into tiny little pieces then I'm going to add just a little bit of water before I turn on my blender so I lay out the Mod Podge and then I just grab a handful of the slurry and I just spread it around onto my plastic container I let it set for a full day and this is my finished vase here the next time you are at a thrift store pick up some inexpensive wicker baskets dip the paintbrush in the paint and then pounce. Take the brush and lightly brush the paint onto the basket in the main direction of the basket weave. This basket finish looks fantastic, styled with flowers or green plants. Take a wicker basket with a very light finish. Spray paint the basket in light layers with an oil rubbed bronze color. Let the basket dry completely, paint in light layers. You will notice that the paint dries very fast between layers because there is actually very little paint used. I hope this inspired you to give inexpensive wicker baskets an updated look with paint.